is going on guys welcome to Greggles TV daily rewind it's where we go back and we can give you all of your tech news in one single video this week was filled with news if you want to know about the pixel 5 we've got information about that we've got information on if you ordered a galaxy s20 and you still don't have it and you cancel it what you'll potentially get and so much more guys so if you're all into samsung or you know smartphones or any other stuff stores closing because of what's going on in the country and the world there's all kinds of stores closing companies giving you free stuff all kinds of cool news check it out let me know what your favorite news story is in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the iPhone 12, which will be the successor to what the iPhones are out right now, which is the 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. The uh, iPhone 12 could potentially be delayed due to travel restrictions, due to the coronavirus. And uh, what makes this crazy is, Usually the iPhone comes out in September, mid-September, September, I believe. Yeah, about mid-September. It looks like it could get pushed back as far as October. Now these travel restrictions that are placed on Apple and other people from going to these countries where a lot of this technology is made is due to the fact that obviously I said the coronavirus, but these Apple engineers need to go over there to perfect the process of making these phones through the factory, just overall making the phone, getting it put together. So obviously this still could change if the coronavirus um, you know, stuff goes away quicker or gets <laughs> cleaned up faster, whatever you want to say. Um, but yeah, it's definitely throwing uh, the whole world into a loop in terms of like the, the economy is going crazy right now with the, the stock exchange and tech companies possibly getting their tech products pushed back even further. And obviously to add on to this is if Apple products get pushed back, you're looking at probably other companies as well that are going to be releasing phones um, fairly soon or in the next few months, um, their phones will probably get pushed back to, as well. I, I could see Samsung possibly getting the Note phone get pushed back a little bit. We'll wait and see. Obviously, like stuff could change or be coming out at normal speeds, but it's definitely something to think about. And the last story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. If you were thinking about, man, I want an awesome case on the uh, back to really showcase the camera. Well, here you guys go. Now this isn't real, but this potentially could be a bad ass looking case with Arnold Schwarzenegger holding up a big bazooka of a gun and it taking advantage of that camera. It's kind of funny. Again, this is not real, but uh, I don't know. It would be kind of a, a truly funny looking phone case. What do you guys think? Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day, if you remember yesterday, we talked about the Google Pixel 4a, which is the budget version of the Pixel line of phones, and it's gonna be the newest one that they release uh, in the next, I don't know, month, two, three months at the most, and we there was a hands-on leaked video on YouTube. I'll link that down below if you wanna watch it. It is in Spanish, but anyways, it shows off that there's going to be a Snapdragon 730 processor in there, six gigabytes of RAM, a 3080 milliamp battery. Also, the display itself is going to be a resolution of 1080 by 2340 with a 60 hertz display, so a 1080p plus display. It'll be 5.81 inches with a density uh, of 443 pixels per inch. There potentially might not be an XL version of this phone like there was in the past, which I think makes sense. If they're, they're gonna have two of these phones, one's probably gonna always sell better than the other, which is probably gonna be the smaller one because it's gonna be cheaper. Um, at that point, this phone's probably, if I had to guess, gonna retail again for $399. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy Bud Pluses. Now, I've talked about all the colors that are available, at least you guys might even know me, that's the black, that's the blue, and that's the white. And then a week or two ago, I talked about a new color coming out, which was red, and red looks amazing. I definitely want the red color. Well, guess what? There's a fifth color, guys, and it's out in Korea thus far. It is pink, and this is great, 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 great for the ladies. I always say that, I mean, maybe, maybe you like pink, whatever, but generally I think they're aiming it more towards the ladies, and it is the pink color. It's gonna cost the same. I assume if it's coming out, if it's coming out in Korea, it's definitely gonna come out in the United States as well. Everything's pink, the case, the buds, everything. I, I, I am curious if the, uh, the cord inside is pink as well, but yeah, new pink color.
let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is if you've been watching my show the last couple of days, you'd know that there was gonna be a new Google Pixel 4a phone, which is gonna be a budget-friendly version of the Google Pixel line of phones. And now we've got pricing. It looks like this comes from pictures from a billboard and you can see right off the bat, it's showing that the price is gonna be starting anyway at $399 for the new Google phone. Um, it should work its way up for the next storage option, which the next storage option up, up should be uh, 128, which should be up from 64. Um, and so the 128 version I would expect to be probably about 479 if I had to guess. And then beyond that though, it looks like they're also coming up with new versions of Google Maps. Google Assistant and Google Photos, updated versions of those, and those look to be launching with the new Google phone as well. Speaking of Google, it also looks like they're coming out with a brand new Chromecast Ultra. Now, not just any Chromecast Ultra, one with a remote and built-in Android TV. I am so excited about this, as you can see right there. Exclusive coming from 9to5Google saying that Google plans new Chromecast Ultra based on Android TV with a remote. So this would be a dongle version of their um, uh, of Android TV, but it's gonna look basically identical to a Google, Google Chromecast, 4K HDR, Google Assistant built into it, the microphone will have, uh, the, the remote will have a microphone phone i'm excited about this because i love android tv and if, for this to come out at a great price point and compete with some of the uh the cheaper android tvs that are out there such as the mi box and you know chinese manufactured ones as well this is great is i can this will probably be like 40 bucks and it's probably going to run awesome so i'm excited about this hopefully it comes out very very soon and if it does i will get my hands on and give you my first impressions and a review and the last story of the day is about the galaxy S20 Ultra. Now, this came from one of my fans. He pre-ordered this phone a while back, and he was expecting it, I believe, on like March 6th or something, um, and it never shipped. Like some people, I've been hearing a lot from you guys saying, you know, your phone was supposed to ship at a certain date. It didn't, and it looks like he went to get go and cancel it on Samsung's website, and what they did is the following. They went in there, and when he was about to cancel it, the computer came back and said, hey, don't cancel yet. What if we refund you $100 on your order to keep you from canceling your order? And he took them up on the offer, as you can see. And now he's going to pay $100 less for his phone. And he should be able to keep his pre-order gifts as well. So that's great news. So if this is something that you want to try to do, you could potentially probably try to do it um, to see if they do the same thing with you guys. But yeah, it's happened to me in the past with a phone before. I know I was ordering a phone for my father-in-law. We went and ordered it. He didn't want it anymore. We tried to cancel it and they gave us like, I think they gave him more money back, two or $300 back, more than a hundred. Uh, he ended up deciding to keep it as well. So there is some, some light at the end of the rainbow. If you ever try to cancel your phone, I guess it looks like, especially on the S20 Ultra, because they really want to sell these phones. So let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is that 4K 60 video recording could potentially be coming to your Pixel phone. Now this information comes from XDA developers who broke down the 7. For APK Google camera app and it hints at Google finally bringing 4k 60 video recording to that app now previously 4k 30 was the best that you could get there 4k 60 I feel like tops the app because I love that flow you know fluid fast motion that you can get with the 4k 60 hopefully it'll come to the Google pixel 4 at the very least we'll have to wait and see but yeah this is good news nonetheless Next up, if you're wanting to purchase the Galaxy Z Flip, you now can without having to like rush out at you know midnight to get the, your order in or your pre-order in or whatever it is, it is now available. I literally just checked and you can get it on Samsung's website. It's linked down below and you can get it from uh, the unlocked version as early as the 27th of March being shipped out or one of the carrier versions, have it be Sprint or AT&T shipping out as early as March 20th. Get it in uh, black or, or purple. And uh, again, available right now. You don't have to go crazy uh, and get it. So if you want to purchase this a marvel of a flip phone, get it. I had it. I reviewed it. It's a cool phone, but, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't feel like the flip does enough to improve your you know, usage of the phone. But still, it's a really cool technology. And it's, the phone's fast, great battery life. It looks really cool. 
and uh, it'll get people talking. And the last story of the day, kind of a slow news day, is all about the Galaxy S20 Ultra. And this has to do with, if you wanted to get the 512 gigabyte version, the unlocked version, it's completely, completely sold out and it still is sold out. It's been sold out for, I think, over a week at this point, if not longer. So it's very difficult to get that ver uh, version. Well, I was miss almost messed up that word. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, my, I have that version and it's completely sold out. So if you wanted to get it, you're gonna have to wait and you can't even you know, do a little pre-order type even after the fact. You can get some of the carrier versions of it, but regardless, uh, if you want the 128, pretty much ships within the next few days or a week after that. So the stock overall for all the phones isn't that bad. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the LG V60. Now this phone is due to come out very, very soon. How soon? Well, a user on Reddit found out by doing a search of uh, on LG V60 AT&T that it's gonna come out March 20th and he put a screenshot of the said uh, Google search and you can see right here it says it's highlighted in yellow only eight days and I guess he did this on the 12th of March so yeah right around the corner for the LG V60 if you don't know about this phone it is a flagship phone dual screen so two screens at once Snapdragon 865 it's got a decent high quality specs just the dual screen gets me excited. What about you guys? Next little bit of information is about the OnePlus 8. Now this comes from Max J, who tends to leak out some things, especially on Twitter. And he's saying that April 15th will be the launch date of the new OnePlus 8. Sounds about right. This will be a flagship phone. It should be very well priced. It's gonna come with 5G. Are you guys interested in the OnePlus 8? Let me know down below. Next up, with all this you know, C word talk, and I'm not even gonna see the word just in case I get demonetized on this video. But yeah, with all the C word talk, you know, the big uh, flu-like thing going around. Well, it looks like there is some you know, light at the end of the tunnel in terms of companies actually doing nice things. And this is starting off to be pretty cool. First of all, this is coming from Engadget, who's reporting on this. They're saying that Comcast uh, for people that are on their internet essentials program, which is usually lower income people, they pay $9.95. They're actually going to up their internet speeds from 15 uh, download to upload to 25 upload and th uh, 25 download and three upload. So that's very, very nice of Comcast to do that to increase the speeds. And then AT&T is taking a slightly different approach where they're removing data caps, meaning they don't care how much data you use. Generally they have, you can use anywhere between 150 gigs all the way up to one terabyte. And then you end up paying $10 per like 50 gigabytes more over that and it, gets, it can get quite expensive. They also offer unlimited data, but this, they're gonna, for all their customers, they're not gonna offer unlimited data usage. I fully expect every other company to do this as well, especially with a possible USA shutdown. There's rumors right now they're gonna completely shut down the US um, to, to fight this thing. And then also the fact that if other companies are gonna do this, then you can are starting to do this. It, usually it trickles down, just like with wireless carriers. If somebody offered wire, uh, internet, unlimited internet like T-Mobile did, everybody else followed as well. So this will definitely, most likely I would expect, trickle down to more companies as this goes on. And the last story of the day, if you have a Galaxy S20, there is a new update rolling out. It's not that update that most people want. There's one in Korea that updated the cameras. This doesn't do that. This is another separate update and it's currently only being rolled out for Exynos versions of the phone. I checked my phone, even though I have the Snapdragon to see if I had any new updates. I still don't have anything, but if you have the Exynos version and you get this update, let us know in the comments down below what you noticed, if anything, of changes. Uh, because based off the screenshot, it just says stability improvements, bug fixes, maybe some enhanced features, things like that, enhanced performance, nothing too specific. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about Verizon. Verizon has put out a tweet and they said the following breaking, Verizon announces the next phase of COVID-19 strategy. We are reducing the number of stores that remain open. Customers can still get the support and services they need 24 seven via verizonwireless.com support, calling the phone number and on the My Verizon app. That is pretty wild that they're going to be shutting down some of their stores. And I kind of said this, a lot of these, I said this the other day with companies giving, like there was Comcast 
and AT&T doing certain things with their internet service providers, uh, giving you know unlimited data and faster speeds. And then other companies usually follow the trend. Like I know T-Mobile is giving unlimited data to all their users, even if you don't get unlimited data now. And then this, where Verizon's closing stores, you can bet that other cell phone companies and other stores as well that aren't like necessity companies will close as well and, and go through that that phase of things. Also, there's companies like Disney that are now putting out Frozen 2 earlier than expected due to the fact that we're going through all of this. So it's kind of good for the consumer, some of this stuff, some of this stuff will suck for the consumer, but overall, it's just pretty wild. And the last story of the day is about the Pixel 5. Now, this will be the full successor to the Pixel 4. This will be the flagship phone that they release every sing single year, Pixel 5. And there was a breakdown of the new camera app, the new Google camera app, and it listed some information that might disappoint some people. And it is the fact that the Pixel 5 anyway, at least one of the versions, if not all of them, will end up using a Qualcomm processor like always, but it won't be the fastest Qualcomm processor. It will use either the 765 Snapdragon or the Snapdragon 765G, which we know from Benchmarks is 30 to 50% worse or slower, if you whatever you want to call it, than the Snapdragon 865 that most flagship phones use today. Now, this isn't the end of the world. If you think about this, this is going to reduce costs of the Pixel 5 flagship phones to bring it more in line, maybe with like 500 bucks, 600 bucks, 700 bucks like that, rather than you having to pay a thousand, eleven hundred, twelve hundred dollars just for the best that they have to offer. Also, most people don't really need the best processor ever. And it doesn't mean this phone's gonna be like, oh my God, opening apps and just using a day-to-day -day process is gonna be awful. It also doesn't mean when you play a game, it's gonna be the worst ever as well. But maybe the high graphical games, the games that, uh, or the apps that really need a ton of processing power, maybe they won't work as fast. But overall, the experience should still be very, very good on a day-to-day -day basis. Probably 95% of the time, it would probably be absolutely fine. And the people that buy this phone, I don't, I would guess too, aren't the people that always need the highest end specs because they're not playing high graphical games. They're not using these apps that, uh, that, that where they're processing, you know, video content to, you know, edit it or fo photo apps that need a, a ton of editing. So that's my take on it. Um, for me personally, it is a bit of a letdown just because I do. when I get a device, I always want it to be a flagship device because I want the best experience no matter what I'm doing. And uh, for me, it's a little bit of a letdown, but I can see why uh, Google might be doing this. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Apple Store. Now, everyone goes to the Apple Store. It's where they sell Apple products, iPhones, MacBooks, Apple TVs, cases, anything Apple you can buy there. Well, it looks like They've closed the stores because of what's going on in the world right now. And it looks like they're going to be closed until March 27th. It's like um, all retail stores are closed outside of China. So if you live anywhere outside of China, then you're SOL. And you'll have to, if you want any Apple products, you either have to go to another store such as Best Buy or order them online. Um, I did read something where it said like some of the Apple stores, if you had like repairs were, were open until the end of this weekend, which is basically right now. But it's pretty crazy. I would expect more stores to close like we've seen uh, Verizon closing stores. Apple stores are really hands-on, so I'm, maybe Best Buy will close, but I don't know. Pretty crazy. What do you guys think? And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy S. 20 phones, which is an amazing phone, guys. I'm loving this phone. And Max Weinbach put out a tweet saying, Samsung has been churning out updates for the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Looks like the next update will be pretty major. Now remember, Max Weinbach in the past basically leaked almost everything about the Galaxy S20. So him saying this about the new update is a pretty much foregone conclusion at this point. So we're looking at updating, you know, big updates for this phone. Some of the major things, if, it, if it's in this update, could be 
fixing the autofocus, especially on kind of low light videos, that definitely needs to be fixed on the front and the back cameras. I would love to see 2K 120, which is 2K resolution on the screen with 120 hertz, because right now it's limited to 1080p at 120 hertz. One of the rumors that came out in the past is said they're gonna add the 2K 120. They didn't say when, said within, within one to three months of release, but it should be coming hopefully to the Galaxy S20 line of phones. What else could be there? That is gonna be our question today. What other updates or fixes would you like to see in this next major update, update pushed out by Samsung? Also, I don't know when the update's gonna come out. It come, could come out next week, could come out in a month. I'm not sure, but it sounds like it's gonna be major. So what do you think they're going to include in it? Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road.